All right, here we are. Ascension 14. Silent. Going up against Donu and Dekka. We have... Uh, we did a boss swap and got Wrist Blade, so we built the deck around that. We also got Sneko Skull. Whenever we apply poison, apply an additional poison, so that incentivized us to get in Venom. And we upgraded that immediately. And then we paired that with a Shiv build. Um, so we have two after images to generate block for every sh every card played. We have multiple Blade Dance Pluses, three? Uh, oh, four. And then a Cloak and Dagger. Two Cloak and Dagger Pluses? Yeah. So lots of shivs. No uh, accuracy, unfortunately, but luckily the Wrist Blade is an accuracy in play, essentially, at the beginning. So uh, we have a footwork, a couple, little poison extra, like be able to directly apply poison instead of having to get the end of Venom in play. Just to, And it's probably the strongest poison card in the game. Uh, Bane to take advantage of the Envenom. It's two hits, so and then with Sneko, that's four poison. So this generates four poison and does 20 damage for one cost, which is pretty excellent. Got a doppelganger in there, an Alchemize, and a Laze. Um, just a few uh, things to keep us uh, sustainable. The Laze really helps against multi attacks, and Danu and Dekka both do multi attacks. They always do two times attacks, but they also have artifacts so real quick we've got the ink bottle which is great we get card draw every 10 cards with shivs that's easy and then that paired with ninchaku that i bought at the shop because of that um we did pandora's box that's how we have no strikes and defends we get extra energy going into this fight we never used a mamori uh we did use a lot of removals because some of the transform was not good so we fixed that and then every time we discard, we get three block. Every time we play three attacks, we get four block. So we've got good block generation from relics as well. A lot of extra HP between the strawberry and the pear. And we have an unceasing top. So if we run out of cards, but we still have energy, hopefully it'll just keep feeding us good cards. Now, unfortunately, the Ascender's Bane stops us from getting another card there with the Unseason Top, but that won't happen anymore. So, strip one of those artifacts. Okay, we have no card, no attacks in hand, so we can play this. Put the second after image in play. And you can see why this deck works so well. I want to use this to strip the artifacts or no I have Venom coming just to ensure we get Venom on this I want to draw a card so I'm going to retain that and then of course survivor for extra block with the discard uh, the tough images so I did get the Venom. awesome let's play that first all right, now their protection is gone. Yeah, I think it's... Hmm. We're gonna get four more block from those two. I think we can just take the damage or now we don't we don't do that why would we do that we get three block if we play this plus two more that's five and then we'll get two more that's seven 23 of 36 yeah that just doesn't feel right so we'll just do this this 
And then this does 28, this does 22, this hits four times, so it stacks more poison. <clears throat> I want to get poison going on this guy. Now that Envenom's in play, this is a very powerful card. Alright. Actual Weaken. Damn. It gets us more block. That's all I was looking for. I'm going to retain this Blade Dance. Good. Oh my god. Okay. Here's a turn. GG. Let's fuck with him. <laughs> I just want to die from poison. Wow. After going all the way to 20 on the defect, that was remarkably easy.